All right, welcome everybody. Uh, let's do this. Uh, what I'd like you to first do is uh, first copy the question down and uh, let's read it together. And I don't want you to be too thrown off when we first read the problem. I think with a few practice attempts, it'll feel much nicer. So here it's saying, uh, given cosine A is equal to seven over square root of 65, and that angle A is in the first quadrant, find the exact value of cotangent of angle A in simplest radical form using a rational denominator. So first, uh, step one, what are you given? You're given that cosine of angle A is uh, seven over square root of 65, and you know you're in the first quadrant, right? So notice that if we have our initial ray, we know that our term, our angle A is somewhere over here, okay? So this is, let's say, the terminal ray, and that um, it could be, this terminal ray could be anywhere. We don't know exactly where, let's just say it's here. So we know that the terminal ray is in the first quadrant, and the idea is, what we wanna do is, we know that cosine of angle A, this is angle A, is seven over square root of 65. So the idea is, let's create a triangle. So notice that if this is angle A, this is opposite of angle A, this is the adjacent of angle A, and this is the hypotenuse of angle A. Now, what are you given? You're given that cosine of angle A is seven over six square root of 65. And what do you know about cosine? What is cosine equal to? Cosine is adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the idea is if you have this triangle over here, let me uh, zoom in a little bit more. If you know you have cosine of angle A is seven over square root 65, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So you know if this is angle A, what's the measurement of this, ang of this side over here? This has to be, and I'll show it in a different color, this has to be, um, this has to be seven. Okay, actually orange is a bad color. Let me pick this one here. You know that this has to be seven. Okay, because here, you know the numerator is seven and what's adjacent, uh, oh my God, I am freaking out. This is the opposite, what am I doing? This is seven, <laughs> I'm very sorry. Uh, this is seven over here, the adjacent of angle A, right? Uh, what's the hypotenuse of angle A? It's over here. You know that the distance from here to here has to be square root of 65, okay? Now, what are you asked to find? The question is asking, what is cotangent of angle A? So what do we know about cotangent of angle A? So here, if we had cosine of A, it was equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. What is cotangent of angle A? Well, this is um, adjacent over the opposite, okay? So notice, we have the adjacent. We know for cotangent of angle A, what's gonna be on the numerator, it's gonna be seven. What are we missing? We're missing this uh, opposite side. We don't know the length of here to here, but knowing triangle, you know, knowing trigonometry, if we have this side and this side, so notice this is the triangle we have. We have from here to here is seven, from here to here is square root of 65, and we know this has to be a right angle, right? Because you know we're drawing a perpendicular line to the x-axis. Can we find this side over here? Uh, take a second and think about what would you have to do to actually find the length from, uh, this is a bad right angle, but what would we do to find the length from here to here? We have to use the Pythagorean theorem that if this is A, B, C, we have to have A squared plus B squared equals C squared to find this actual, my bad. Um, to find this side over here, this opposite, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's find the third side. So here, what is our value of a? It's uh, seven, right? What's the value of b, this opposite side, we don't know. And what's the hypotenuse? It is uh, square root of 65. So what are we gonna do to each one of them? We're gonna square it, square it, and square it. So this is uh, 49 plus b squared is equal to, well, what's the square root of 65 squared? This is 65, and we learned this from the previous lesson. So then how do we get b squared 
by itself, we're gonna subtract 49, subtract 49, and now you have um, b squared equals, uh, let's see, what is this? This is 16, yeah, 16. Um, so then how do you get what b is? Square root, square root, so b is equal to four. And what does this, oh man, my camera angle has been really bad. I'm sorry guys, let me, I gotta fix this. Um, what does this four, uh, take a second then look at the math here. What does this four represent? This four represents the distance from here to here. This is four. And why is it helpful? Because what the question is asking, it's saying, hey, if you know what cosine of A is, what's cotangent of A? And it's gonna just be seven over four. And that's it, right? Let's try another one together. And, I, and this time I will not mess up the uh, camera angle. Uh, let's take a look at this question. Here, it's saying, given that tangent A is two over nine, and that angle A is in quadrant one, find the exact value of secant of A in simplest radical form. So let's go through this same idea again. If you want, you can copy the question and try and do it by yourself. But here, if you know that tangent of A is two over nine, okay? And you know it's in the first quadrant, so same idea. Let's draw an angle here, and we're gonna make a little triangle over here. And let me zoom in over here. We know that tangent of A is two over nine. The question is, what is secant of A, okay? So if you know that this is A over here, this angle, Notice, what do you know about tangent? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if we have this triangle over here, notice that what is, for this angle A, what is our opposite? This is the opposite, so we know that the distance from here to here is two. What is the adjacent of this angle A? You know that this distance from here to here is nine, okay? Now, what do you need for secant of A? For secant of A, you need to look at your notes. Um, what is secant of A? It is um, hypotenuse over adjacent, okay? So now notice that we have the adjacent. We know that the adjacent for secant of A is nine is on the bottom, right? We have the adjacent. What are we missing? We're missing the hypotenuse. So what do we need to do to find this hypotenuse? Notice that if this is our triangle, if we have A, B, C, we have the A and the B, what are we missing? We're missing the C. So the idea is we just have nine squared plus two squared equals C squared. Or we could have that idea of A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? Here, in the previous problem, remember that we didn't have one of the legs we knew the hypotenuse. In this example over here, we have two of the legs, we're missing the hypotenuse. So how do we find the hypotenuse? This shouldn't be too bad. This nine squared is 81 plus two squared is four equals C squared. 85 is equal to C squared, square root, square root. Uh, C is equal to the square root of 85. And now here you just have square root of 85 on top and notice how that the radical is not in the denominator, so this is bueno, this is okay, and that's it. Secant of A is square root of 85 over nine. Um, okay, I hope this helped. Try, go, try to go through some of the delta math questions on your own, and we can go any, over any of these questions in class. All right, I'll see you.